matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi's Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Looking to throw it right at the outset. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. On first down, Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, a quick throw, going to be caught by Diggs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. Allen to throw once more. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. From the 29, Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Reggie Gilliam, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bills put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. Here we go, here we go. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Seven nothing on EA Sports. First down, this is McCaffrey. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside, stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Watch the run, watch the run. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there.
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Purdy now to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, this from 53. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and this will stay at a seven-point game. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. Now Allen. This will be caught. Just inside the 10. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Bass on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Here's McCaffrey. And some room to work. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. The 
49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now a run with McCaffrey, and he'll take this one down near the 15. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. This time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And the Niners are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So as they take it over, we step aside. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll try to run with McCaffrey, and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. McCaffrey. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 123 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. This is McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, McCaffrey, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here's a give up the middle, and he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. 
Here we go with McCaffrey. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. He's been tough for this defense to handle over 100 yards. You kind of knew that they were going to him on that play, didn't you? They certainly did. That's one of those situations where you simply say, my best runner over my best blockers. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't care if they know it on the other side. Here we come. And they got it done. A nice burst there as he'll get about seven that time on the first down run. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. On second down, here's Mitchell. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he is going to have a Niners first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. going to get to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 to give up the middle and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14 yard line the last run got three now here's second and seven they'll try and run this one right up the gut and he'll get about three just outside the 10 stopped at the 11. typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst the traffic but in this case how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play Third down, here's McCaffrey. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I would think down two scores at this point in the fourth quarter, even with the loss there on first down, this has got to be four down territory. If you're the field goal kicker, your only purpose now is if you can run out for a pass or actually carry the ball into the end zone. Otherwise, don't even look at the coach. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. Here's Mitchell. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Purdy, big fourth down play. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. 
So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football, high percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. To throw, it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. So Allen's going to look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. To throw is Allen. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Allen to throw. Being chased out left. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. A gutsy decision there going for it on fourth, but they got it, and that likely puts an end to this one. Indeed, it was gutsy because there's so many other options they probably could have exercised in that situation, but they bet on themselves and it paid off. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 
Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. type of people in life it's people that wake up and wish they had it and it's people that wake up and go get it we go get it baby photo poor so photogenic all i know is to go go get it EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got what can... Made up my mind that no matter what, I gotta win. That's why 
why it's always me and never them. Hey. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. Hold up a lion. My time, here I go. I am not moving in silence if it ain't moving, moving. We making movies, moving, moving, moving. I get a chance to take it. We about to build it. They leaving it vacant. I just go harder, harder. I am a ball that I gotta get it. I am so with it. I will go get it. That is the difference. I am not waiting. I am not faking. Everything out here, that's for the taking. My mind too right. My grind too tight. This head rhyme too nice. This my world, my life. One shot, who me? Take that, who we? One shot, movie. That's all you need. One shot, who me? Take that, who we? One shot, movie. That's all you need. Hey. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. Breaking away or being a great, they slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate food from all of the base. My eight spoon goon, big son told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King crown me lounge in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant climb to the top. Funny style. On elevators could never fade us. I peep data saying anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. Allen going to go to the air right away. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Allen. Flushed out right. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. Man, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, 
His guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Dillon now on first and 10. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run once more with Dillon. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Rodgers going to give this one to Dillon. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Third down, here's Jones. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. They'll run for it with Dillon. And try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. I can't believe they even let you play. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist. To the air, Allen. He's got a man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. 
eluding the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie from eight yards out. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's Dillon. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, here's Dillon. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Dillon on the inside give. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Dillon up the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Up the middle they run. Here's Dillon. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Running up the middle, here's Dillon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run here with Dillon. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. They'll look to run with Dillon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Dillon. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A.J. Dillon. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no thought of a return here for Hines. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Here's Allen to throw it. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Allen now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Dawson Knox, 34 yards. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. A yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. The 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On the handoff, this is Dillon. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On second down, Dillon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. set to get the football first and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action ready for the third quarter Nixon elects not to return it and this comes out to the 25 the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. to Dillon on first down and he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards second down well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up They run once more with Dillon. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Rodgers going to give this one to Dillon. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Dillon now on first and 10. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 88 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On 
second down, it's Jones. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Keep on the ground with Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the gun, it's Dillon. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start. But they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, Dillon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Again, it's Dillon. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive. Two for two. Now Rodgers. And it's a Packers touchdown. Josiah DeGora from 19 yards away. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. 
And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. 14 yards that time for number 14. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You having to really navigate against a tough defense. Touchdown, Bills! Isaiah McKenzie. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. To the touchdown pass to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. On oh, second down, another run for Dillon. 
Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. Pass complete, Tunyon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Rodgers to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Rodgers got his man. It's Bo Melton. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. He dumps this off to Dillon underneath. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. This one came right down to the wire, and CD they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense?
always on a high level. So open up your eyes, baby. Hold up, it ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental was the last time that I ate food from all of the base. My ace boom goon, big son, told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King, crown me loud in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant, climb to the top. Funny style. On elevators could never fade us. I peep data stain anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. That's the cred with it. You either fight or flight. I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of fed millions. With soul food, blow and stock my bad kitchen. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move they gladly imitated. I ain't flattered. I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing. Now, a new beginning. My catalog like James L. Jones, the ever living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much extra extra? How much extra extra? Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configured. A road I travel, don't gravel, that probably baffle it. Label scribble on paper, they wanna shackle it. I own my masters and roars, as you can't raffle it. Wrist drip like a mango, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Without a tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace. I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination, needed, not a coca key. I'm the extra lighter on the dresser, I know you need it, smoking out the competition, pouring up, we undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let you heard, we eating, talking by, extra with a splash, extra acting bad, pull it like parades on parades, extra with a slab, pay what it cost for the tail, extra with the bad, young Chris a king, better add extra on the... I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra extra? You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. Yeah, I jump out the booth. Then I might hop through the roof. Got on the ring, stuff. My team is the truth. But they some lies to you. And they never sing, huh? But they always shoot. And all of their diamonds are new. And that's why I'm here with villain. Cause I really get it. And I need all my honeys in blue. You gotta choose. Top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. Make a choice. I need a hundred pack for my boys. Deep be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I'm painting. I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion. Get standing ovations. They can't help it but rejoice. They all wanna follow me. Cause I got my foot on the opposition. They can ain't no apologies. Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property. Daddy's home, you know I own all the property. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose.
need somebody to hold me. Something done woke up in me. I've been going crazy. I've 